29.8 degrees, 29.8. And the starting mileage is 48915, 48915. Doink. All right. Hey, YouTube, it's Gentleman's Nine. It's a quarter to 12. And I'm just heading to work. No, I, I'm not being super lazy. I, well, we were expecting a, the delivery of an oven. Now, actually, we were uh, expecting it uh, last weekend. And so we bought a, we have an electrical, uh, electrical oven today. And we ordered a, uh, a gas oven. And the guys where we bought it from said that they would actually run an electrical line. Oh, I'm sorry, a gas line. Nice, cut that corner. And uh, we paid for it. They added it as a line item on the, the invoice and all that other stuff. So anyways, they came out and the installer said, this is electrical outlet. And I'm like, yep, yeah, we paid for a gas line install. <laughs> like, uh, we don't do gas line installs. <laughs> I'm like, but we paid for it. And they said, we don't know what you paid for. So anyways, long story short, we had to go back. So we, uh, our choices are install our own gas line, then put the oven in, or just return the stove. So we did. And we exchanged for an electrical one, which they were supposed to deliver today, uh, which they did. And when they plugged it in, they pushed it back up against the wall. The outlet that it plugs into uh, prevents the oven from actually even getting remotely close to the wall. So it's like a like a six inch gap or something okay so we took that oven and we've we uh, are returning it I'm sorry we refused delivery or something like that is what they called it so now we're going to oh, well basically the the 220 or 240 or how many volts that is uh, comes up out of the floor and there's a box it's not flush against the wall, it kind of, it sticks out, it's actually in front of the wall, uh, which isn't normally by itself a problem, except when you put the, the plug in into it, the outlet depth plus the size of the plug-in uh, does not let the oven push up against the wall, or even remotely close to the wall. Uh, so anyways, uh, we're going to get quotes. I guess we're going to try running a gas line instead. Uh, well, actually, we're going to get a quote to see how much the gas line costs. And a quote to see how much it costs to move that electrical box. And we'll ask the guy if uh, the box by itself is sticking out too far or what. Which is really weird because our current oven fits fine. So anyways, we'll get quotes tomorrow. And if the gas line install costs too much, we already have gas running into our house, but if the the install costs too much, we'll ask how much it costs to move the electrical box instead. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the extent of my excitement in the world of Gentleman's Nine. The drama continues, I, but I do think that the. Uh, so our electrical oven now, the oven part doesn't work, but the tap, the top stove part does. And the electrical panel itself, or like all the, the clock and all that other stuff, that's out. But the knobs that control the upper, the stove top itself actually do work. So uh, it's not like it is worthless, but if we, we can't bake anything. And I guess we didn't realize how much stuff we actually use the oven for. So we're going to replace it. Uh, We've had electrical for the longest time, and if I don't know what you guys think, but I we actually think electrical sucks. Like it takes forever to heat anything up, and it doesn't. Um, it seems like we have to set the temperature like maybe 20 degrees higher, or run, or bake whatever it is like 10 to 20 percent longer. So either way, we're just gonna. The ideal is we get to gas because I think gas. I think gas is better. I grew up. Uh, with gas, a gas stove, gas oven, 
and it just seems to heat much faster. Um, we're told it's more efficient than electrical by itself. Uh, we did look at the uh, the induction ovens. I don't know if you guys know what those are, but those are supposed to heat up water like super fast, and they're still cool to the touch. But the only well, I guess it works on like uh, magnetic induction or something. But the problem is they only work with um, special pots and pans. So like iron, so cast iron pans, pots and pans it works for. Uh, some stainless steel uh, pans it'll work with, but it will not work with like aluminum. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. You, you read a lot of good reviews, and then there's also some questionable reviews. So uh, gas just seems better. All right, let me go ahead and end this rant here. I uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Ending mileage four eight nine five five four eight nine five five.